How much actual power do you think we could get from an amplifier that's smaller than a standard brick? Kicker's Key 200.4 is a compact, four-channel smart amplifier with a built-in processor and AI-driven DSP. Kicker claims this amplifier will send 50 watts RMS of power to each of your front and rear speakers. Stay tuned for our power output testing in a minute. Inside the box is a power harness, RCA harness, calibration microphone cable with inline activation button, inline fuse holder and fuse, hardware, zip ties, and compact four channel amplifier. We did a video on the original version of this amplifier a few years ago, the Key 180.4, but Kicker has given the 200.4 more power. The Key 200.4 is a complete 200 watt four channel amplifier and acoustic solution in one. Using a powerful internal DSP and calibration microphone, the Key delivers dramatic improvements in realism and sound stage without the need for an external processor, EQ, or RTA, according to Kicker. The dimensions are 7 3 8 inches in width, 1 and 11 16 inches in height, and 2 and 3 quarters inches in depth. The compact design means you can mount the key amplifier anywhere, under the seat, behind your stereo, in your trunk, wherever. The auto EQ feature of this amplifier corrects the audio output performance of your system with a simple touch of a button. Once installed, plug in your calibration microphone. Start the test noise, which you can download from Kicker's site. Hit the activation button and the key's processor goes to work. Using proprietary algorithms developed in-house by Kicker engineers, the system detects the factory EQ curve and applies a correction. Using the microphone, the amplifier listens to the speaker outputs and applies a 24 dB crossover and 40 Hz bends of equalization to maximize peaks and valleys to flatten the output curve. The amplifier outputs a robust 50 watts per channel, which is plenty for most factory speakers and mid-level aftermarket speakers. Custom time alignment and gain levels are also applied to each driver. Time alignment and kicker EQ can be bypassed if you aren't a fan. The amplifier is capable of bi-amping, allowing you to connect a two-way or three-way speaker system and run a fully active or semi-active crossover with fixed crossover points. The crossover points for a fully active two-way system are 3.2 kHz high and low pass with a 24 dB Linkwitz Riley filter. The crossover for a semi-active three-way system are 640 Hz low pass and 320 Hz high pass with the 24 dB Linkwitz Riley filter. During the auto EQ, the amp will compensate for the overlap. Unfortunately, the amplifier is only capable of driving four ohm loads. The amp technology uses FIT2, fail-safe integration technology, and start-stop compatibility to work with nearly any vehicle on the road today. The amplifier also has a radio detect option. The feature is designed for factory audio systems and newer vehicles that require a load on the outputs when connecting to an aftermarket amp. This feature enables a load resistor at the amplifier's inputs and tells the source unit there are speakers present preventing pops and other speaker damaging behavior. To simplify installation, the amp can be activated via remote 12 volt signal or DC offset. The DC offset mode detects a 3 volt DC offset on the speaker wires when the source unit has been turned on. One of the best features of the key amplifier is it has a ton of speaker protection. Utilizing the limiter function, Kicker has developed protection methods for engine start, start stop, low voltage, inputs signal overdrive, and over temperature. Kicker has also added one other protection system, compression. This limits the output of the amplifier as it starts to clip. It will allow for a minimal amount of distortion protecting your speakers from deadly output clipping. Okay, let's test. The first test we ran was two channels driven, four ohms, one kilohertz, 14.4 volts. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 55.06 watts RMS per channel, 1% distortion, and 14.6 volts of output. We can swap channels. Our AMM1 read 42 watts. We got 14.70 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 9.10 amps of current. Going to 40 Hz, our HP picked up 53.66 watts RMS, 1.04% distortion, and 14.4 volts. We could swap channels.
DAMM1, read 49 watts. We got 14.54 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 9.54 amps of current. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.